Example 5. A certain substance, 5.1, a certain substance is poured into a conical container 24 centimeters across the top and 30 centimeters high. The substance occupies the entire space of the container. The combined weight of the container and the substance is 4.55 kilograms, while the empty container itself weighs 0 0.75 kilograms. So determine the specific gravity of the substance. Specific gravity is density of substance divided by density of water, which is 1,000 kg per cubic meter. Density of substance is mass over volume. The mass of the substance is combined mass, 4.55 minus the weight of the empty container itself. So 4.55 kg minus 0.75 kg is 3.8 kg. While the volume of the container, volume of cone is pi radius 0.12 meter square, height 0.3 meter divided by 3. So density of substance is 3.8 divided by pi 0.12 meter quantity square times 0.3 over 3. So in kilogram per cubic meter, the density of substance is 840 kilogram per cubic meter. Therefore, the specific gravity is 840 divided by density of water, which is 1,000. So it is 0.84, obviously. 5.2, air is kept at a pressure of 200 kilopascals absolute and a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius in a 500 liter container. What is the mass of air in kilograms? Mass of air is equal to density of air times volume of air. The volume of air is already known 500 liters, so therefore this is 0.5 cubic meter. So the density of air is pressure divided by gas constant of air absolute temperature, pressure over RT, where the gas constant of air is 287 newton meter per kilogram kelvin, if you can remember. The absolute temperature is temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. Then we convert 200 kilopascals into pascals absolute, so that would be 200,000 pascals absolute divided by 287 newton meter per kilogram kelvin times 30 degrees plus 273 so that would now be in kelvins and the unit of density of air is kilogram per cubic meter so it is equal to 2.300 kilogram per cubic meter at that temperature and pressure absolute pressure so therefore mass of air is 2.300 times 0.5 cubic meter so the mass of air is 1.15 kilograms. Then 5.3, what is the gas constant of carbon dioxide in newton meter per kilogram Kelvin? Uh, remember the universal gas constant is 8312 newton meter per Kelvin moles. So gas constant is equal to 8312 divided by molecular mass of carbon dioxide. The molecular mass of carbon dioxide, you should just know the element carbon, which is number 12 in the periodic table, and oxygen number 16, and it has two atoms. Therefore, the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 12 plus 16 times 2. There are two atoms for oxygen dioxide. So it is equal to 44 moles. Therefore, the gas constant of carbon dioxide is 8312 divided by 44. So it is equal to 188.9 newton meter per kilogram kelvins.